What's going on guys, Griff here, and this is my Hitman 3 Dubai speed run. Stick around after the speed run and I'll walk you through the strategy. Here we go. What? Oh God. Someone, please. I need help. Someone, please. I need help. Okay, so that was my Hitman 3 Dubai speed run. I've been doing this run for a few hours now, and 12 seconds is about as good as I can get it down to. According to the leaderboard, it's faster than the world's top time of 13 seconds. But then again, they got the silent assassin rating, and I did not. I can't think why. Christ. But anyway, if you're wondering what gun I'm using, it's the Arctic Sniper. Or to give it its full name, the Drazina 34 ICA Arctic Sniper Rifle. It's shoots through walls and has unlimited bullet penetration. It's also got shockwave ammo, which you can use in this run, but I prefer the wall piercing stuff. To get it, you need to reach level 20 mastery on the Siberia Sniper Challenge. This is honestly the longest part of the whole Hitman Dubai speedrun process. It's a massive grind to unlock that rifle and you have to play this stage over and over. Not only that, but you have to complete all the challenges and get a perfect score of at least 2 million every single time. Yes every time. Luckily, I've got a video guide to completing the Siberia Sniper Challenge on my channel. Just check out that link above. Here's a little playthrough of it before we get back to the speedrun strategy, just to give you an idea of what to expect. Skip ahead if you just want to see the breakdown of the Dubai speedrun. Looking to attract some attention, 47. I'm guessing there's a plan in motion here. Out of sight, out of mind. Well done, 47. I'm tracking 10 remaining targets. Kadkar is on the move, 47. Not sure where he's headed. Taking out the communications. What are you thinking? Okay, so we've got the Arctic Sniper. All that's left is to plan the mission. What you want to do is bring the Arctic Toolbox into the level along with the Sniper, that's important, and start in this location. And here's what you do. By the way, I recommend installing Hitman on an SSD drive just so it's quicker to restart. Because if you're speedrunning, you're gonna restart a lot. Skip the cutscene. I mean, you can watch it if you want. The timer won't start, it's fine. And immediately start assembling your rifle. Zoom in twice and switch to wall piercing ammo. Then look upwards and shoot the target above. This obviously aggros everybody and I'm pretty sure it's impossible to complete this as a silent assassin, but we're going for pure time here and not the five star rating. And you know what? I'm happy with 12 seconds, even though I've now got a criminal record and I'm completely banned from entering Dubai. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And you know what? If you want to try this speed run, go ahead. Just do what you saw here, but you know, just do it slightly better. You might even get it down to 11 seconds. Who knows? Drop a quick like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin, for more Hitman speedruns. See ya.